This is the um, the little trunnion. It's kind of in uh, prototype right now uh, for more side fixtures. And um, I'm going to give you a, a quick overview, and um, I'll put it in and probably calibrate it, uh, get it probed in, and show it a little bit. But I don't really have any jobs that aren't under uh, NDA right now, so I can't actually show anything being cut and cut for I don't know how long. But anyway, we'll go through this. Um, so basically, this this you know trunnion will rotate. And um, when you want to index your vise, you know, to rotate it, you know, some other angle, um, unfortunately, it's not fifth axis, but it's, you know, as close as I'm going to get for now. Um, there's an O, you take off this nut down here and there's an O-ring. It's a pretty tight seal. And you push this up and then you rotate it and it'll index every 15 degrees, um, but we'll just do it like 180 for now. And uh, once it's in the machine, it's actually supposed to be a lot easier to do. Um, and then you tighten it in, so that'll get you 180. And I believe he said uh, when he tested it was 35 to 40 arc seconds, which I believe is pretty close to what the actual fourth from Haas says their specs are. Um, so anyway, that's how you rotate it. And I'll go ahead and take it off and give you an idea what it looks like on the inside. Here, like suck out of there so he said once it's in the table it's pretty easy to pull out by the uh, the vice itself um, so here's the uh, here's these locating pins and on the inside here you can see there's locating pins um, so that you can rotate it every 15 degrees um, and that is pretty much it there is a um, I don't know what you call it uh, like a I forget what it's actually called, but it, it goes for like a tailstock. And um, my machine is actually, I'm using the TR-210, and I believe it, these were designed for uh, the 160s. Uh, I'm sorry, the HR-210, and I believe they were designed for the HR-160s. And uh, so mine is actually an inch higher than this, so I'm going to have to put a couple of um, one, two, three blocks under it. Uh, but this is kind of just in the prototype testing phase, and um, if everything's good, uh, he'll probably end up making me one of these, or I'll, I'll make one um, that's the right height. Um, so I think what I can do is I can just come in here and bore, I mean bore, uh, probe this hole and get my uh, XY center, at least that's my plan. And the Z, I'm going to have to figure out um, if the center of the vice is on the center of rotation or there's some sort of offset there um, I'll let you know when I actually get it in the machine um, uh, one other thing I had I had to do since this was made for and I'm sure he's gonna offer options for it but since this was made for the um, the 160 that um, this is I believe an inch and a quarter and minus two inches uh, or maybe it's inch and a half and mine's two inches. Um, but so I had to make this little um, this little ring that you know adapts this to um, to the size of the bore for mine. Um, I he already had this in there, so I just made a ring and and pressed them together. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to rotate this on camera without being in the way too much. So the first thing you would do, I guess, in between ops, uh, where you needed to rotate the part 90 degrees, or you would uh, basically just put a rotation here and a, uh, a stop. Okay. I'm just using the crescent wrench right now, but... And then, like I said, it goes every 15 degrees, but for now I'm just going to rotate it. Here. Probably do a torque wrench on that, make sure everything's uh, the same every time. Set it back. And there you go. It's not fifth axis, and I'll probably be using 90 degrees most of the time, but there are those. 15 degree angles just in case uh, it's not fifth axis but uh, it'll probably knock out most everything I want to do with it um, so specs I guess is important 
Uh, this is a, uh, looks like four inch, four inch job, well, three inch job. And um, you got four inches here and about eight and a half here. Um, let's see if we rotate this around. definitely get a bigger piece in there and that eight inches will, will uh, on center will definitely not hit the bottom there so it's looking good so far um, I'll um, I got some test parts I need to run in it and um, like I said they got NDA so I can't actually show the videos I'll see if I can find something that um, that I can but the shops real busy right now I've got a lot of work in so uh, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be hard to find time just to, you know, set up a, a nothing part. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.